You know the war that you have to really fight? It's the war against yourself. It's you against you. You against you. There's no fucking hack, bro. There's no fucking hack to grow that thing. How do you grow it? Do it and do it and do it and do it. That's the hack. The hack is gonna fucking suck. You gotta build your will. No, it's not easy to look in the mirror and to change your own life. It's hard as hell. You have to take responsibility. You have to learn new things. You have to feel uncomfortable. Because discomfort is how we grow. That's how we become strong. You have two paths in front of you right now. One path is the easy path. You don't have to change anything. Everything in your life that you aren't happy about can be someone else's fault. But the end of that road isn't pretty. The other path is the hard path. It's going to be downright painful. You will have to force your brain to think in new ways. But eventually, you will start to feel empowered. You will realize that you have the greatest power of all, the power to change your own life. You will be stronger than you've ever known. When you give up, your mind thinks it's over, so it stops growing. There's no development when you give up. But when you can say, screw this, this is awful. I'm overwhelmed, I'm in pain, I'm struggling, I'm hurting, but decide not to leave, your mind gets the message. It realizes he's sticking around, so we need to adapt, we need to improve. That's when different parts of your brain kick into gear. You start using parts of your mind you never used before, especially when you're struggling and you refuse to quit. I am sick and tired of motherfuckers earning a shitty spot in this world and then blaming every single person around them. I'm sick of watching people stuff their faces and do nothing and expect to have this great life. I'm sick of people showing up and doing the minimum and expect to be wealthy and successful and all the things that they say they want. It just doesn't work that way. When's it gonna be? When is it gonna be that you are finally not full of shit? Make the change that you need to make. Become the person you need to become. This isn't about losing 20 pounds or 30 pounds or 100 pounds. This is about becoming a person that can control their external environment and make decisions that serve them no matter how hard those decisions might be. No matter how inconvenient those decisions might be. That's the only way you're going to solve this problem long term. Your only solution is to become the kind of person who can do the hard things when everybody else stops, when everybody else takes a break, when everybody else quits. This is going to be a full commitment to creating the kind of person that can make the right decision even when it's the last thing they want to do. When they're tired, when they're sore, when they're hungry, they will still make the right decision. When they're stressed, when they're frustrated, when they're angry, they will still make the right decision. When the world is crashing down on their shoulders, they will still make the right decision. Every day, you should look at yourself and ask, what am I prepared to do to achieve what I want? And if your response is whatever the hell it takes, then you'll eventually get there. You're setting an example every single day. You have to consistently challenge and work that damn mind of yours. It's a mental machine that needs constant pushing. The cost of regret is far heavier than the cost of discipline. You don't want to wake up one day and regret not following your instincts, not doing what you wanted. Don't live with regrets. If there's something you want to do in your job, in your relationships, in school, just do it. Life is all about mastering this mental game. Once you conquer this mental game, it stops being a game. You start actually living your life. Every day you have the choice to either succumb to the seductive whispers of ease or to rise above and challenge yourself. You got to recognize that the path to greatness, to real growth and achievement, lies in doing the hard things. The things that require effort, dedication, and a relentless pursuit of your goals. It's about realizing that every difficult step you take is a step towards becoming a stronger, more capable version of yourself. When you're committed, you start training your mind to seek growth over comfort, embracing the struggle rather than avoiding it. This mental shift is what separates the extraordinary from the ordinary. The most successful individuals are those who can act independently of their feelings. They don't negotiate with their emotions. They separate themselves from these fleeting states and focus on their goals. 
By taking control of your emotions, you become a disciplined, goal-achieving machine capable of accomplishing anything you set your mind to. This isn't just about today. It's about setting the stage for your future. Every decision, every action is a building block for the future you are creating. It's not solely about the goals you achieve, but the person you become in the process. As you build your future, your vision becomes clearer, and each victory sharpens your focus, transforming your goals from distant dreams into achievable realities. Discipline is the weapon against mediocrity, and every time you choose to rise early, opt for healthier options, or hit the gym despite fatigue, you strike a blow against weakness, thereby strengthening your mind and character. You need to cultivate the voice of a champion within you. This is the voice that compels you to get up even when you're tired, even when everything in you wants to stop. Become the person who cannot quit. Become the person who can say no to the things that they know they're supposed to say no to. Become the person who makes the right decision regardless of the circumstances, regardless of the hardships, regardless of the pain, regardless of the frustration. If you become that person, you have no limits in your life. There is no stopping that person. Start today. And in 365 days, you will look back and you will say, that was the day. That was the day that everything changed. That was the day that my life changed. That was the day that my family changed. That was the day my community changed because I changed. I dare you to work on yourself for six months. I dare you to shut out the world. I dare you to shut out all the distractions. I dare you to give up everything that is keeping you from your dream. Every day when I wake up, I got all kind of demands. You got all kind of demands. And the reason why you're not where you want to be, you take it all other people's stuff before you spend enough time with yourself to get to know you and get to know what you want and what you should do. Come on, y'all. Y'all heard it a million times. In case of an emergency, Put the doggone mask on yourself first. And the problem with most of you in this room, you're giving it to everybody else first. And then you piss when you give it to everybody else first and you come up short and you wonder why you came up short because you gave it to everybody else first. Take care of you. In order to have unbelievable choice and options in your life, in your pursuit of your dream, you must eliminate them. You must shrink your focus down to one thing, one business, one focus at one time and master it and get great at it for an extended period of time. The irony of life is that the more you shrink your options in pursuit of your dream, the more it'll open them up in your life later. What are the things that are stealing your focus? Who are the people that are stealing your focus? And begin to eliminate these distractions. Get laser focused and obsessed on what you want. Be starving and hungry to get it. Be desperate to get it. The combination of desperation and hunger with laser focus over an extended period of time is the formula to be great at something. If you want to show me you want to win that bad, pack your calendar because everything is based off of activity. Very few people want to show their calendar because if they did, you would realize who really wants to win that and who doesn't. It's mathematically impossible for you not to win at the highest level if your calendar is packed from day till night, every single day, the entire year without you winning. Embed that long-term goal in your mind. Burn it into your soul. Think about it. Write about it. Talk about it. Hang it up on your wall. But most important, do something about it. Every day, do something that moves you toward that goal, that keeps that goal alive and in sight and in focus. However small or insignificant that step might seem, take it. Make it happen. Because that goal isn't going to achieve itself. It is all on you. Champions are focused on the goal. They don't have time to be doing stuff that's not going to help them toward the goal. So all the little stuff you're talking about, all the little social media, cut it off. Cut it off. Do what you're supposed to do. You ain't no boy no more. Get off social media. It's killing you. Get off of it. Stop Netflix. Who you watching? Watch you. You got a job to do. That's what you're getting paid for. Have some pride. 
And the problem with some of y'all is you want somebody else to support your dream. It's yours. I don't owe you a dime. It's your dream. If you wanted to have it, get your butt up and make it happen. If you wanted to have it, rise and grind. Our obsessions become our possessions, but we won't possess them if we're not truly obsessed. Turn your damn TV off. Turn your phone off a lot, too. Don't be so obsessed with them. Be obsessed with your own reality TV program called your own life. This suffering, this sacrifice you're making is an indicator of progress. It's an indicator of obsession. Suffering and sacrifice and hard work is an indication of progress towards our dreams. The price you will pay for not making your dream come true is far greater than the one that you will pay to make it come true. You'll pay that one the rest of your life. And so ask yourself what you're willing to risk. What's the price you're willing to pay? Stop negotiating the price. It's a freeing experience to totally commit. When you totally commit to a business, to your fitness, it's a freeing, powerful, it's almost like removing kryptonite from your life when you totally commit. Can you do that? The people around you are saying, it's costing too much. It's costing too much. You guys are going, no, it's worth it.